Our first spot is Chelangpu Fault Preservation Park. Taiwan had a major earthquake called 921 before. So the government began to devote the relevant earthquake research program. During the excavation of Chelangpu Fault, they found the site where preserves the surface of the major earthquake rupture, and profiles of the groups showing a very clear wrinkle and fault structure. It is very difficult to see these geological landscapes on the world. So our government established Chelangpu Fault Preservation Park to protect these geological landscapes. At the entrance, there will be the Panglin, mascot of the museum, welcomes everyone. The museum is a two-floor building. The first floor is divided into Vault Hall and Geological Science Hall. In the Geological Science Hall, you can learn how geologists are investigating faults, instrument they use, and the geological history of Earth. You can also see the fossils found in the investigation of the fault. Under the explanation of the tour guide, you can know the rocks of Taiwan, and the ridge shop and other adjacent faults. In addition, there are small props to allow you to simulate the activities of the fault. The most special feature of the museum is the Taiwan Terrain Theater. It can simulate the landscape which you can only see by taking a hot air balloon from high altitude. In the Geological Preservation Hall, you can see the complete vault. External appearance of the Geological Preservation Hall is designed with domed-shaped ceiling and square floor. You can see the sandstone layer and this holds the phenomenon, the profile of the vault, and staggered straight up. There is a special exhibition whose topic is Flying Zusha on second floor. You can see aerial maps here and know geomorphological changes of Sujan and Chepu Falls before and after the 921 earthquake. And there are local exhibitions that will help you know the history and specialty of Sujan. After visiting Chelungpu Falls Preservation Park, our next spot is Zaitu. In the late Qing Dynasty, Zaitu was origin of stream in a small village in mountain. During the Japanese occupation, it was chosen as the forest for practical training by Tokyo University. During vocation, students were sent for practice and research. The forest recreation area has been established in 1970. There are many attractions as worth visiting. I will recommend you one by one. Skywalk. This is the first skywalk in a forest in Taiwan. The walkway is 180 meters long and 22.6 meters high. The green forest canopy cleans the air naturally and provides habitat and shelter for epiphytes, tree-dwelling animals, insects and fungi. From the walkway, you can experience life in the treetops and observe how it changes with the four seasons. University Pond Originally, University Pond was created to keep logs moist. Later, the pond became the representative landmark of Zaitu. The pond is frog's heaven in spring and summer. Astronomical Observatory This observatory houses a 63 cm diameter Newton telescope. Real-time images of the heavens can be transmitted to the Forest Ecological Exhibition Center. Moso Bamboo and Bamboo Cottage Moso bamboo is a temperate, spreading species and forms an elegant bamboo forest here. This architecturally unique bamboo cottage is located in the quiet Moso bamboo forest. Giant tree. There is a huge boulder inside the giant tree. Although the center is mostly rotted out and hollow, the giant trees still keep alive. By visiting these attractions, you can get closer to nature and have a great time here. Hello friends, welcome to Monster Village in Nantou. Monster Village is located next to Forest Recreation Area and was founded in 2009. The establishment of Monster Village has much to do with two people, Chu Baoqian and Song Lensheng. Almost everything in Monster Village come out of their life, such as the most famous one Kumar. When Song Lensheng was young, he working in the forest as a timberjack. One day, he heard a voice in the bushes. So he standed closer and take a look. He found a leopard and a black bear were crying and looks very hungry. 
so he fed them some food and decided to adopt them. He named Leopard Badu and Barakuma. There is a legend that Song Lin Sheng was attacked by a monster in the mountains. It's Badu and Kuma fighted with monster to protect their master. If you want to know more details or more stir eyes, please ask the student ambassador. In addition to monster, there is a magnificent shopping district in Japanese style in Monster Village. You can see the top of the wooden house with red lanterns hung high and many enthusiastic clerks with exotic kimono. There are also many stores provide all kinds of unique famous souvenir, delicacy and featured literary commemorative merchandise. The design of the whole building is also a thick Japanese style. Walking here just like walking in the streets of Japan and make you may not want to leave. Moreover, when night comes accompanied with lighting effect. You can feel a mysterious and terrifying atmosphere rise spontaneously, which will make you think that monsters are coming. From time to time, some staff here will cosplay monster to interact with visitors and give you an unforgettable experience. Moreover, you can't miss the food here, the food here is really impeccable. Such as apple flavored chicken, hell hand pulled noodle, Japanese flavor barbecue and kumar roast. If you miss them this time, you will regret for a lifetime. Next one is Straw Pier Cultural Tourism Market. Straw Pier Cultural Tourism Market is only on market set up with the idea of humanities, art and care. So, sometimes there will be a charity sale. Further this night market is operated in an enterprise way. Each staff is devoted to night market and invested considerable effort and spirit, Hope everything here can satisfy consumers. When the holiday comes, it is pretty busy here, you can see many vendors sell much famous food. Like Mongolia barbecue, braised food, bouillon, oyster omelette, braised pork rice and fried seafood so on. It sells almost all the food in other night markets. Thank you for watching. This video was made by MQ Student Ambassador. Taiwan Times Village Taiwan Times Village was established in 2010 by the chairman of Cao Tsai Dun, historic name for Kaotun Area, Humanitarian Tourism Industry Association. In the vision of cherishing the old times of Taiwan, Taiwan Times Village combines the customs and culture of the four primary ethnic groups in Taiwan providing visitors a big indoor cultural village to experience the old times in Taiwan culture. The village is divided into several areas. Each area has its special characteristic. Now, let us see the brief introduction of these areas. After China's civil war, a large group of people following the national government retreated to Taiwan, therefore formed a lot of military communities. At the military community area, visitors can experience the special atmosphere and the lifestyle of the residents here during the period of the confronting between the governments of Taiwan and China. Next, is the Hakka Cuisines and Culture Area. The Hakka population is about 13% of Taiwanese population. Hakka culture is an important part of Taiwan culture. Hakka Cuisines and Culture Area provides many Hakka's traditional artistry and cuisines. There are also DIY activities you can try. And if you are wondering about what kind of houses Taiwanese lived at that time, then you mustn't miss the San Ho Yuan area. San Ho Yuan is the traditional architecture design of early Taiwan. At the San Ho Yuan area, we can experience the customs and family living form of early Taiwan. In addition to the military community and Hakka culture, visitors can never miss the Aboriginal culture of Taiwan. Aboriginal area presents the architecture and culture of the Aborigine. There are also many sculptures and cherished artifacts in this area, allowing visitors to learn more about Aboriginal life and traditional art. 
After learning the ethnic group culture, visitors can take a walk at the GG train station area. It presents the old look of this train station before the 921 earthquakes. The scene is vivid and full of the cultural atmosphere of the Japan colonial period. Except for the static exhibition, the Taiwan Times Village also provides dynamic performance for visitors. The Taiwan Theatre area presents the old Taiwan Theatre, which will play the introduction of Taiwan Times Village in retro videos. There will be several traditional musicals performance on weekends, allowing visitors to experience the lively activities on the street of early Taiwan. Don't forget to visit Fish and Agricultural Boutique and Taiwan Times Village Gift Shop before you leave. Bring some tastes of the early Taiwan back home. Hope everyone enjoys the culture of early Taiwan. Let us temporarily become the residents of early Taiwan in Taiwan Times Village. Yida Val Pier Yida Val Pier is one of the famous piers at the Sun Moon Lake. Tourists can take a boat at the piers to visit the beautiful scenery of the lake. Among the piers, Yida Val Pier is famous for the Aboriginal culture. Yida Val means, we are human, in Val, which is the language of one of the Taiwanese Aborigines. The village Yidaval Pier belongs to as the main residence of the Dao. Yidaval Pier includes Water Trail, Visitor Center, and Old Street. First, comes to the Yidaval Water Trail, connecting the Sun Moon Lake Cable Car Station and Yidaval Pier. The total length is approximately 500 meters. Along the water trail, planted Cyathea lepifera and cherry blossom trees. Tourists are able to view the landscapes and enjoy leisure time simultaneously. Yidaval Visitor Center not only provides the service of tourism, but also combines with the environmental element at the Sun Moon Lake. The appearance of the center is the shape of a ship, which is related to local customs. Finally, comes to the Yida Thou Old Street. We must have a taste of delicious local cuisines and see Aboriginal handicrafts. Wild boar meat sausage is one of the special dishes of Aborigines. It has a special flavor and is firm in texture. However, people who do not eat pork need to be careful. Rice chicken wing is another must-eat food. After taking out the bones, the seller will fill the wing with glutinous rice. And there is the delicious chicken wing. You must drink the Assam black tea when you come to Sun Moon Lake. Because of the warm and wet weather, the tea is guaranteed high quality. Along the street are various kinds of Aboriginal handicrafts, which are to let tourists bring back as a souvenir. Exposed to local characteristics, Yida Val Pier is sure to bring fun to everyone. Wish everyone has fun at Yida Val Pier. Attracting more than 6 million visitors each year. Sun Moon Lake has always been known as one of the best destinations for travelers. From dawn to dusk and from spring to winter, Sun Moon Lake never falls to amaze visitors by its magnificent scenery. Sun Moon Lake lies in the Yuchi Township of Nantos, the center county of Taiwan. It's not only the largest lake, but also, it has been known as the most glorious mountain lake in Taiwan. The area is comprised of a diamond-shaped sun lake and a curved moon lake. And that refers to how it was named. There are more than 5,000 temples in Taiwan. Temples in Taiwan are not simple museums or buildings, but active places of worship. 
Now, we are going to have a look at the Wenwu Temple, located nearby the Sun Moon Lake area. The architecture of the Wenwu Temple has the palace style of northern China. It is a large and imposing structure, with three separate halls. On the second floor of the front hall is a shrine devoted to the first ancestor Kaiji, and also the god of literature. The central hall is devoted to Guan Gong, the god of war, and the warrior god Yu Fei. Last but not least, the rear hall is dedicated to Confucius. Out of all the Confucius temples in Taiwan, this is the only one that keeps its central door open. Temple officials say that they do so because the temple attracts to so many tourists all around. They keep the door open for the convenience of the visitors. Before entering the temple, we will first walk on the Wenwu Temple Hiking Trail. The hiking trail is nicknamed the Stairway to Heaven. With totally 366 ascending steps, each represents one day of the year. The climbing of this entire stairway symbolizes the passing of a year. Dates are carved on each of the stone steps, along with the names of internationally famous people who were born on the corresponding date. Visitors can find out whom they share their birthday with while climbing these steps. Meanwhile, information related to the traditional Chinese solar periods is also carved on the steps, providing interesting and educational materials.